My name is Sydney, and I'm a student at Sonoma State University. My group and I wanted to do an investigative documentary on campus safety at SSU. Within the past year, there has been many incidents that left many students questioning the safety of the campus and how these incidents are handled. Once the sun comes up, crews will start digging through a crime scene at Sonoma State University. Video, two girls say that clown tried to chase them down. The massive footprint carved out by a series of fast-moving wildfires is only growing tonight. Let's go. As the death toll rises to at least 15. It happened at Sonoma State University in an on-campus apartment complex just a few hours ago. A student told KPIX 5's Joe Vasquez he saw a bloodied man with a knife. Joe? Yeah, Brian, right now you can see there's a large police presence here on the campus as police investigate a murder in the freshman dorm. For this project, we interviewed three SSU female students and asked them to share their experiences regarding campus safety and their perspective of safety as women. We also talked to a campus police officer, Corporal Peters, to hear his take on this issue. So the situation regarding campus safety for me personally is I would go on really late night walks almost every night on campus and I would have the police called on me without fail. And the worst time was a guy in a van followed me from Darwin to Stevenson, that little path in front of the library, looped around me and then like blocked my path, got out of his car and was like, I'm going to need to see your ID. And I was super nervous because I did not know what was happening. I was just going on a walk at like 11 at night. It wasn't even that late. Like called in my name, which wasn't even the right name. I had my like birth name on my cards. Then just drove off and was like, enjoy the rest of your night. I was like, what? I know pretty much every single female friend I have on campus has pepper spray or like some kind of like stabbing <laughs> implement on their keychain or backpack. And for men on campus, I don't think I know a single one. I think women definitely have to be a lot more careful. Um, so my experience at Sonoma, I'd say it's been okay. Um, I've made a lot of good friends, but regarding safety, I'd say it's been pretty mediocre. So I was like, given that I'm a girl and I probably couldn't take on a man or somebody who was attacking me, maybe I need something just to be safe. So I ordered these things and I left the receipt on my counter. Then I kind of forgot about the receipt. So I come back to Sonoma for a winter course and I notified Sonoma that I was going to be there like two weeks before. Housing knew that I was there. I wake up to a man in my room. I was literally like, what is going on? I woke up, didn't even have time to put on my glasses. So I just thought that that was kind of bizarre. Then I get an email from housing saying that I have to have a meeting because I violated some like housing thing. So then I read the email and it said that I had been written up for weapons. So then I go to my meeting and then she said that the clowns were rumors and she asked me why I didn't take a self-defense class. And then I got put on probation for that because I have weapons and I got put on probation for a year. I think campus safety is different for women just because um, I think for every girl, like we all know, like when it comes to outpowering people, like you have to just be realistic about it. Maybe they actually start caring about their students and that'll improve our safety. We had the fires and Sonoma never even made us evacuate and it was very dangerous. And at one point, the fire was three miles away from our campus and they didn't do anything. And the stabbing was kind of weird because like I was like just in my room like doing homework because finals week was like the week after. And my roommate was like studying in the dining room and I like decided to go out and like sit with her. And right when I sat with her, I just saw like a ton of like helmets like run past like my dorm. And like we were like, what the heck, like is it another drug raid? Because like that already happened and like so many things were happening. It ended up being a stabbing, like we saw them like knock down the door and like go in. Like they posted and they were like, there's like a stabber like running loose on campus. It started and sob. So like we were really on edge. I talked to a lot of people like the next day and they said they saw him come out of his door or out of the dorm 
with the bloody knife, like kind of like walking around and everyone was like, what the hell? As much as I wanted to leave, I couldn't because like all of my studying stuff was like inside and finals were like the next week. And they weren't telling us like when we would be like allowed back in our dorms. So much was happening and like there was so much stress on top of it of like finals and like, your own like initial safety is obviously priority, but like to your teachers and stuff, you're kind of just a number. So it's like, it doesn't really matter. I was driving up with my parents. Like my dad was like, are you sure like you feel safe enough to go back? And I was like, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> like You're literally in the middle of like a crime scene. So like opening your door for like a cough, you're kind of still like on edge, like what's happening? <laughs> I don't think that we like really heard anything about it. Anything that I heard afterwards about the trials and stuff was from roommates or from like people who did their own research. That whole thing was just like a police investigation and was like, yeah, swept under the rug. We have a number of things that we can do. Probably the main thing that would address that kind of question is we offer safety escorts. So if it's late at night, you're studying, you want to walk back to your dorm, we'll come and walk with you. And kind of the newer problem that we've come up with is cell phones and people staring at their cell phones as they're walking, which takes their attention away from what's happening around them. So either you know, have a car, you're walking through the parking lot and a car comes up and might, might hit you. Not that that's happened yet, but just being aware of your surroundings and making sure you uh, kind of pay attention to what's happening. If, if there's an emergency, Call 911. Um, if it's something, you know, so an emergency would be obviously something that could be an immediate life or death kind of situation, but not even quite that bad. So I mean, if you if you see something really like a fight going on or something, anything that kind of really maybe you think we need to have some here now, you can call 911. The dispatch phone number is 707. 664-4444 and that's like the business line for a dispatch and then you know you can tell them what you have going on and they'll go for you out and they'll send an officer by the time you call explain what's happening dispatch sends an officer you're probably looking four to five minutes for something to show up there so it's pretty quick and yeah it's going to depend on traffic and depend on the type of the situation if it's an emergency or going lights and sirens will be there a little quicker if it's if it's a non-emergency it'll take a little bit longer one thing that we work on a lot is lights, lighting. I know people have complained about it in the past, and um, even we kind of complain about it. Um, it's just, I guess it's a lot to keep track of. There's a lot of lights on campus, so we, we go around and we'll report lights that are out and not working. It's, just a, it's a process though for facilities to get around to all of them and fix them. So there's still some lights that are out and it kind of makes for some dark areas. Um, that, that's one thing that we wish could be better. Ultimately, your safety comes down to you. Um, we do the best we can, but there's only so many of us and there's only so much officers can really do. And everybody's got to kind of take that personal um, goal to safety. So if that requires, you know, when you're driving, making sure you're staying off your phone to be safe, it's just that, per, you know, that of personal commitment to make sure you kind of try to keep yourself safe as you can. Be. Um, obviously, more females call for safety escorts late at night than the males do, but it's not, I've, I've given a male an escort before. They just started a Twitter account in hopes of sort of meeting the current sort of way people communicate. This headline was published in the SSU newspaper this past week. SSU must prioritize the safety of their students. It's time for change.